Hi guys, um, you're welcome to my channel, Numa Insights. You're welcome to another day, another time of um, being in the presence of the Lord and sharing the Word of God with you. Uh, God bless you richly as you listen. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today's topic is about joy. It's uh, a continuation of what I have been sharing with you concerning why Jesus came. He came as the Prince of Peace. He came to the earth, not to show his power, but to show his love. And he came, most of all, with good news. He came bearing the gospel of Christ to be um, given to believers to go and disseminate in the world. The gospel of Christ is the gospel of peace. It is the gospel of reconciliation. It is the gospel of joy. The Bible told us, it tells us that wherever he went, Jesus was doing good. Healing the sick, bringing comfort, and just stamping his authority of love goodness grace and mercy upon humanity praise the lord when we hear about joy we say oh immediately what comes into our mind is happiness yes they are related joy and happiness are related but they are not really the same happiness is active it's something that you can decide to acquire you can decide that today, I just have to be happy. I'm going to be happy today. That's to go seeking happiness, seeking things that will give you happiness. Those things could come in various forms. It can be being in the presence of people you love, sharing a delicious meal, listening to good music, just things that will make you feel good and contented. So happiness is active, is based on feeling. That feeling we acquire when we are doing something we love to do. Praise the Lord. Joy also is similar because it comes also from having contentment. When joy is different, that joy is a state of mind, a condition in a human life that is unconditionally based on peace assurance and confidence that whatever your situation whatever is happening around you you have that peace you have contentment that it is well that is joy joy will make you to smile when people maybe they heard that something bad to you has happened and they all rush down both the ones who love you and the ones who have come to see your reaction or to mock you to see how you will react and they see you there you are genuinely joyous happy smiling you are even the one some of them will start crying some fake tears you know but you're the one comforting them telling them it's all right the lord gives and the lord takes away you know stuff like that telling them that no it could be worse i thank god for what happened but it could be worse so people will start to wonder that what's what is, where is this coming from? What type of person is this? This person is supposed to be rolling on the ground, screaming and shouting, but here he is or she is smiling, laughing, and even comforting us. So joy is that state of mind, that state of assurance, that state of confidence, that it is well. I'm going to take, take one of my texts from uh, Psalm 118. Verse 24, and I read from the King James Version, which says, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You can see three things there. The day the Lord has made. 
we will rejoice and be glad in it. That is that day. Any day, any time. A day has time, a day has situations, and a day has circumstances. In any day you could you could name, either in your past or currently today, there has been issues, situations whereby you are confident because you know the Lord has created today, the day. That in a nutshell means God is present, his, his presence in that day, in that time, in that hour. Through RDD 24-7, his presence. So his presence is what has caused the gladness, the rejoicing in whatever situation the day may come with. Amen. Another version of the part of the Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. In his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. So that is it. You just know that joy is that state. Whereby you know that God's hand is upon your life. God's hands is in that situation. God's hands made that day. He made, that day has been consciously made. That is from the first minute of the day to the dawn of the day, which is 11.59 p.m. God's hand is there. He made it. So that is what that verse is telling us. That in his, It is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. So that's what it means. That in whatever situation, joy, joy helps us to be confident. Happiness comes and goes. It ebbs up and down. Maybe today you are happy because you did something. You went seeking for happiness. Then tomorrow, that same thing that gave you happiness, you find out that the amount of happiness you are getting from that thing has reduced. You, the amount, maybe you went, you like somebody, you spent your presence, in the, your, your, your time in the presence of that person in sweet fellowship, you find that that happiness is no longer there. But when you have joy, it is constant. The contentment you have in people, in things, is constant. And the contentment you have from morning to the end of the day is constant. Whatever happens is there. Praise the Lord. So that is what that's the difference between joy and happiness. It is not something that comes and goes. It is not something that will say, Oh, today I'm joyous. Tomorrow I don't know. I'm not sure. Joy is constant. It is the state of stability which is not based on who we are or what we are doing or what we have done. It has achievement from a good and stable source. That is to achieve your joy from good and stable source. So from what I have been telling briefly in the past few minutes, you will see that joy is not natural. Happiness is natural, but joy is not natural. Therefore, joy must flow from the divine. It must flow from God. It must have the hand of God in it. It must have divine connection. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That means it's one of the things that one of the benefits, fruit is the uh, benefit that comes from something that has been planted and grown. You just don't have fruit overnight. It's when you allow that thing that has been planted to take root, to germinate, to grow, then it will start bearing fruit. Joy, 
Like we say in Galatians chapter 5, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which means there must be a relationship with the Holy Spirit for joy to be present. You must be attached. You must be rooted in the Holy Spirit of God. You must be attached, you must be rooted in His presence before you can have joy. Joy flows from sacrificial giving to others. Like we see that certain things we do, which people find that, oh, you are doing too much, maybe you are giving too much of your time and money to help others. They'll say, why are you doing this? But you just derive joy from doing it because you have a source for that joy. When you remember that someone came from his throne in heaven consciously, knowing that he's going to be a sacrificial lamb, He's going to suffer untold pain and torture. But he still came. He didn't mind the shame, the pain. He came and gave his all. And that is Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. Like Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2 told us that he fixed his eyes on the cross, not minding the shame. So also joy flows from fixing your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy motivates us into unto hope. That is when people are tell, around us are saying, Oh, it is finished. When there's nothing to be happy for, when the pleasures and the happiness derived from food, good music, good company, good stories, good news of promotion, Good news of stability, good news. When the joy derived from sex, derived from whatever it is that gives you joy, when it's gone, it gives you happiness, it's gone, joy remains. Amen. Joy remains. Joy remains. But, and then why does joy remain? It, because throughout the day, from the beginning, the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, God had programmed that day to be full of joy for his people. Those who believe in his, who believe and who abide in his presence. Joy causes laughter in austerity. Amen. <laughs> and because joy flows from that knowledge that you are in a relationship that cannot feel. And the, the, the presence of that relationship gives you laughter. Like we see in James chapter 1, verse 2, it gives peace and strength in the soul when you possess joy. Joy bestows constant hope in being who you are. Some people say, why are you doing this? You're always talking of joy, joy, joy. It is well, it is well. What have you got to show for this, your faith? But joy bestows constant hope in believing in what you have. Amen. We see that in the book of Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will read that to you. And I would like to, uh, I want us to dwell on this now because it is very important. Like I told you that joy is that stability we have. Joy is that seal that keeps the human life going. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Joy. Uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 13 says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that he, that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So it's a joy that gives uh, the Holy Ghost. Like I told you, the joy is the fruit of the Holy Ghost. That is relationship abiding in the Holy Ghost. Gives that 
It's what gives you that hope, that joy, that makes you to abound in hope. And when you abound in hope, you keep going. When people lose hope, it's, it's they, then they, they get into a very dangerous situation because that loss of hope can cause a lot of mind-bending thoughts, which could lead to a lot of unpleasant things. May the Lord our God bless you. May he enable you with his grace and mercy to be full of joy. Full of joy. It is not possible to be full of happiness 24-7, but it is possible to have joy 24-7. May that be our portion. God bless you. This is uh, Tina David saying thank you for viewing. Thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your words of support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please give this video a fat thumbs up. God bless you. Remain happy and blessed and joyous. Amen. Bye.